Hello, 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 hello. Good evening. Can you hear me? Good evening. Hello, good evening. Welcome. Nice. Good evening, good evening, teacher. Good evening. Let's see. We are uh, 19 participants right now. So we are almost, almost, almost ready with all the people. Nice. Thank you for uh, your cameras. Uh, thank you, Kathy. Hey, teacher. Nice. Welcome. So today is Friday. <laughs> It is, right? It is Friday. Nice. So finally, right? <laughs> finally. I don't know. I feel so tired of this week. But anyway, right? So we have to survive. Today it was not simple past look. Today it was not a good day for me. It was uh, like an awful, awful day for me but anyway i have to survive the day and because i have to... teacher i'm sorry kathy for why teacher ah why why um because because of my car i went to the mechanic very early in the morning and i was there at the you know the the mechanic station the whole day and at the end something else happened so i went through one thing and now something else is damaging my car and it's something expensive and i don't know how we will do it and fix the car yeah. yes teacher as <sighs> triste es el, el gasto yeah I, I felt bad because of the car so I don't know. I'm not. I I don't know mechanic terms. That would be nice. Aprender términos de mecánica en inglés. Uh, let's see. Is uh, technical English? Technical English. I technical. know some parts. Uh, some parts. Um, like the engine, but the problem is the gearbox my goodness gearbox gearbox that's the problem at the end so i went to the mechanic because of the the start that would be the the motor de arranque the star okay so the star and at the end at the end it's not the star it's the gearbox imagine do you know what is the gearbox? What is the meaning, teacher? Uh-huh. Mechanic terms. <laughs> Nada que ver con lo que nosotros hace, estudiamos aquí los términos, pero bueno. So, uh -huh. the mechanic, the gearbox, that's the problem. I have a car sale in case you want to change it. I have a car sale in case you want to change it. My goodness, Amilcar, what's that? <laughs> so, uh -huh. do you know what is the gearbox? Gearbox. Ahí les dejo la palabra, la investigo. So, that's the problem. <laughs> yeah, there you go. La caja, la caja de, lo, de la velocidad. Imagine. That's expensive. It's so, standard feature or automatic? No, it's automatic. Adam no puede entrar. Uh, yeah, it's it's auto, out, automatic. Imagine, I don't know how much it will be. Well, I have to work more to pay the car. <laughs> Oh my goodness. But anyway, so I have to fix it. At... Vamos a ver a quién vendemos por ahí para sacar para la caja. <laughs> okay. So, well, now, yes, we are 26. Hoy sí, creo que ya estamos todos. Ahí viene ya Adam Wilfredo. 
No sé por qué no podía entrar, pero ahí está ya. So, thank you for your camera. So, it is uh, Friday, right, for us. It is Friday because it's the last day for us, right? So, we don't have class tomorrow. So, tomorrow it's a vacation, right? In a way, right? In a way, because we don't have class, but you know that you have to complete the platform activities and, and be ready with everything, right? So nice. Thank you for your cameras. Let's start with the uh, attendance for today. So let's see. Welcome, Sandra Mabel. What happened with you yesterday? Hi, good evening. Good evening. I have a problem That's with so them. Nice. Um, light, electricity. Yes. Okay, electricity, electricity yes. issue. So I, I, I say it. Okay, yo le okay. dije de tener problema de electricidad. Yes. Because Sorry. a lot of people was with that problem, right? But probably in the main city or San Salvador, they fix it like at eight before five minutes before eight. But probably where you are, so the problem was was a little bit longer. So nice. Si escuchan el uso del was, verdad? He estado hablando en pasado. Todo lo que he estado hablando para que usted escuche el pasado. Si no me puedo los verbos en pasado, no vamos a poder hablar en pasado, verdad? Entonces lo que he estado mencionando al inicio lo he estado diciendo lo que me ha pasado, right? So simple pass, simple pass for you to have an idea how you are going to use the simple pass, okay? Something that it's already gone. El simple pass, acciones que ya murieron en el pasado, ahí se quedaron. Pasó y pasó, ya no existe en el futuro. Más adelante van a ver ustedes el present perfect that is something else okay but the simple simple pass is just an action that you did and it's over okay ya no la hace nunca más lo hizo y ahí quedó okay so that's 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 the simple pass right so let's see let's see uh it is regina uh what's a today date what's a today date What's today? Yeah, what's today date? It's a, it's a Friday and it's a Friday 19 May. When... Friday, Regina. <laughs> I'm sorry, teacher, uh, because I talking with my sister, I am. I took it the, the smell or the happy because I retort in, I don't, I don't know say in English, este, so, bendiciones, I don't know. Blessings. 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 Bless. Bless. Blessing, uh, because my sister with a blessing at the other people, uh, the other people sick and and the pawn matching and the. ¿Cómo se llama? Transfusión de sangre, este, que no le sirve. Blum. Okay, uh, the from the bloom. In the in my coaching, the other people with me and the gift. Is the box very box the pamper with my father? And yo, oh, oh my God! O sea, it's a surprise. It's good. Okay. It's good it's okay. Good yeah, it is. It is a nice. It is a nice uh, surprise for you and your family. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Okay. It, it is the moment talk it with my my sister. Is the it is good. Good. Okay, okay, nice. Thank you for uh, sharing. It is uh, Regina. Nice, nice to have good news. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, nice. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Um, 
Daisy Magdalena, tell us uh, what's a today date, uh, Daisy Magdalena. Yeah. It is Tuesday, May 19th, 2022. Okay. Thursday, right? TH, TH, Thursday. If, because if you say Tuesday, that will be Martes, right? Thursday. Today is Thursday, okay? Thursday, May 19th, right? 2022, okay? Nice. A nice background. Uh, it is Rosario. That's like the work map. Yes, right, it is. Yes. But it's, it is with fruits or what? Yeah. I, I know say in English semillas. Mm, ok, ya. Yeah. Ah, talk, hable cuando usted habla, me aparece aquí todo en la pantalla. Ahí puedo ver bien el background. Así de lejos no lo veo. Teacher, I like the old the background, the Rosario. Yeah, it is really nice. It is really nice. It's seeds, right? Semillas son seeds. Hable Rosario, quiero ver. Okay, sit. Mm -hmm. Yeah, cuando a ustedes hablan aquí en el, en el teléfono me aparece de cerca ahí el rostro, ahí podemos ver el background. Yeah, it is nice, nice background. So, yeah, un día vamos a hacer un día de backgrounds, a ver quién sale con el background más novedoso. Okay, so my goodness, I have to pass the attendance, okay? I have to pass the attendance. So today is a Thursday, uh, but it's like Friday, right? Because we don't have class tomorrow. So let me know if you are here, Abigail Noemi. Present. Nice. Um, Adam Wilfredo, now I saw you. Adam, Wilfredo. Richard, I am not in my home. My goodness, what happened? Everything okay? It's everything fine, the Adam, Wilfredo. I don't know, probably he has. Eh, me, me encuentro, me encuentro en, en un velorio, teacher. My goodness, I'm sorry, okay? No problem, thank you, okay? Don't worry. Um, let's see, Alejandro. I saw you, Alejandro. Present teacher. Thank you. Uh, we have a Milcar. A Milcar, you are here. Present teacher. Nice. Ana Mercedes. Thank you. Present teacher. Nice. Andrea Geraldine. Present teacher. Nice. Andrea Michelle. Present teacher. Nice. Um, Carmen Guadalupe. Present teacher. Nice. Uh, then we have Edith Del Carmen. Present teacher. Nice. Uh, let's see, Daisy Magdalena. Present Daisy teacher. Daisy Magdalena, thank you. Edith Del Carmen, ya la mencioné. Uh, Lisa Cristina. Elisa. No. Francisco, my goodness, Francisco. Good evening, teacher. Uh, Good evening. Y Elisa Cristina le está diciendo present teacher in, in el chat de aquí. Okay, that would be Elisa Cristina. Uh, then we have, um, let's see, it is Regina. Ahí está. Present teacher. Nice. It is Rosario. Present. Nice. <clears throat> then we have Kathy. Present teacher. Nice. Luis Alonso. Present teacher. Nice. Miguel Angel. Present teacher. Nice. Nadia. Present teacher. Thank you. Reina Chiamilet. Present teacher. Thank you. Nice. Sandra Elizabeth. Nice. Sandra Amelia. Present, Miss. Thank you. Sandra Mabel. 
Present. Nice. Tania Pamela. Present, Miss. Nice. A Vilma Heidi. Present. Nice. Uh -huh. Vilma Heidi as well. You work without electricity, right? Yes, teacher. Okay, and Wendy, Wendy Abigail, right? Present teacher. Okay, yeah, we have the attendance. Is the nap. Mm -hmm. Okay. Hey, thank you, Iris Rosario, for uh, sharing the picture about your background. <laughs> nice. So let me share the screen really quick. And we have to work with the book today because yesterday we were just like searching the pictures and everything about the the birds and the simple past, right? So in a presentation. But today we have to complete this part because this is the last uh, part that we have for the for this uh, lesson. Uh, let's see. Um, yeah, we start, we are going to start right here with the simple past regular bursts. Okay, so no sé si han estudiado las imágenes que les mandé, las han tenido presentes por ahí, pero we are clear, right, that the simple past is for actions that are or were in the past and they are over, right? We know that the auxiliary for the simple past is a did, right? Positive. Negative will be didn't or did not, right? If we use the apostrophe. Uh, also, we mentioned that we have uh, regular and irregular bursts, right? We mentioned that the regular bursts, we need to know which ones are regular because of the, uh, how we are going to add, right? The past tense in the birds. For example, there are some birds that ends with a letter E, we just add the letter D. But if the bird ends in a different consonant, we are going to add the ED, right? So that is part of the formula, one of the rules. Another one says that if the bird ends in a, in a consonant and a letter Y, so we are going to change the Y into an I, and also we add the ED. So those are two rules. There are four, but I'm just mentioning right now two of them, okay? Then the rest, so you have them in the picture, you have that in your notes. Uh, what else we mentioned? We mentioned that um, the irregular births, we have a list, so we have two lists, right? We have one for 100 births and we have the other list that is for, a hundred, right? 400, 400 bursts. So, and we mentioned that there is no way for us to uh, have like a magic formula to learn the birds, right? So we mentioned that we have to, we must memorize them by practice the birds, by using the birds, by doing something to learn the birds. So, ahí nos quedamos ayer, right? So, Adam Wilfredo, pero okay, so let's start. I don't know, Adam Wilfred, pero está bien, pero ahí está. Dejé de compartir pantalla. ¿Esto qué pasó? Okay, so let's see what we have right here. So theme, letter exercise eight. Theme, it's a talking about his weekend. Completed sentence, then compare with a partner. So let's do it together, okay? Para que no se sienta muy preocupado, lo vamos a hacer así como 
en pequeños grupitos. Esto lo vamos a hacer en un grupo pequeño. Just let me take a screenshot right here. I'm sharing in the group. And we are going to work in groups. So let's complete this um, exercise, right? So look, we have the sentence and we have the verb. Todos estos verbos que están acá en este primer ejercicio, todos son regular. Ok, aliste las fórmulas que anotó el día de ayer o la imagen que yo le compartí, porque esa es la que le va a funcionar para convertir estos verbos que están en paréntesis en pasado. Ok, todo es la conversación, todo es en pasado acerca de lo que hizo Tim en su fin de semana. Ok, so we are going to complete this activity right now. We have uh, four minutes only, ok? So vamos a tener nada más eh, cuatro minutitos. Vamos a quedar en grupos de cinco y uno de seis, creo yo. So ya mandé ahí la picture in the group. So are we clear what we are going to do, right? Yep. Nice. So los muevo rapidito, cuatro minutos, completemos esa conversación con el pasado de esos verbos que están ahí en paréntesis.
Hello teacher, hello teacher, how are you? How are you? Very, very, thank you. <laughs> ya me va a regañar. <laughs> Frank, no, no, drink. I, I don't remember. No tomes mucha Coca-Cola. Mm, al cabo trae una drink pizza de otra mitra, por cierto. Please and chocolate. A... ¿Cómo? Teacher. Chocolate. With no. Oh my no goodness, I'm on mute. Estaba hablando en mute. Ok, hey, sorry. No, teacher, Gran discurso que me acaba teacher. de echar y ni me lo escucharon. <laughs> <laughs> my Repeat, goodness, please. Francisco. I was saying that how, uh, at least it's in English. Lo, escuché, no, lo encontré, lo encontré. No me ven. No. Dios santo. Ahora sí. Ay, Dios mío. Yes. Ahora sí. Ok, so es que esta cosa no sé. Aquí normalmente yo desde acá activo el micrófono, pero no lo había activado. O sea, lo presioné, pero no sé, lo tengo que hacer desde acá de la compu. I don't know why. So I was saying, Francisco, hopefully you were singing no, in English. No me mira, aquí estoy. Sí, ya la vi, ya la vi. Hello. Sí, ya se mira. <laughs> so, uh, ajá, it's, uh, it's nice. That you were singing in English. Hello, teacher. Hello, teacher. Si me hubiera cachado you? hablando en español, lo fusilamos en francés. <laughs> teacher, have a question. Uh, I have a question. Porque si usted me dice, teacher, have a question, ahí me está dejando cuta la oración sin sujeto. Que los americanos la cortan más, pero bueno. <laughs> I, I have a question, teacher. Uh -huh, um, okay. um, my question is, uh, ¿por qué los americanos cuando I'm piden? Sorry, I'm sorry. No, para, 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 para explicarlo American. mejor. Para no, cuando ellos English. piden un in vaso English. de agua. In English. Uh -huh. um, the American people. Um, uh -huh. um, pedir, ¿cómo era? Pedir, um, um, take water. When, when they asked when they for, ask for take uh, water, uh, use a crystal. Porque eso le llaman crystal a los Chris. vasos de, de vidrio. Eso es todo. Teacher. Vamos a, vamos a hacer la pregunta. Teacher. Sandra yeah. dice que no puede entrar a clase. Sandra Mabel. Quiero ver. El Pero WhatsApp qué raro. Imagen. Ya, ya ingresó. Igual Wendy, Abigail, I don't know what's going on. Sandra Mabel, it's there. And also Wendy, Abigail, creo que ya está conectando ahí el audio. So, yeah, now it's there. So, Francisco, I didn't get your, your, yeah, I understand your question, but I never heard crystal. So, they say I need a glass glass of water a cup of water so i For don't example, know for uh, example remember uh, the book um que pasamos lo anterior um como se dice pas uh, hay una uh, one section in the um in the platform there is a section in the platform uh -huh. no 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 uh, the book uh, que pasé la, la 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 vez anterior The book, um, I, in the book, the uh -huh. book, uh -huh, the book, one section, um, um, menciona los vasos, um, lo selecciona como crystal, crystal cup, crystal, crystal, crystal cup. I don't, I don't remember that part. No, no, no tengo eso acá. In the last course. So, but. It, they say crystal because of the material. So that's what I understood when you say crystal because of the material of the glass. But I have never listened that they say I need a crystal glass. So I, I know that they say I need a cup of water. I need a bottle of water. Sorry, my, my error is glass. <laughs> sorry, 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 mm -hmm. sorry. Yeah. Look for that info and, sh and send it to me to see because I, I don't really remember. Teacher. Okay. Yeah, Katy. 
because the verb live, live. And the left, left is the same, uh, is, is the, the same meaning the izquierdo. Mm, I'm sorry, I, I, which is the bird that you mentioned at the beginning? Live. Uh, the heart. Live. live. Uh -huh. ah, okay, and, I live. And, and left, left is the past tense in the participle. Mm -hmm. Pero, verdad que también significa izquierdo, left, left. But the pronunciation is different and also the way you write it. Uh, live, left. Mm -hmm. Okay. Thank you, teacher. Mm -hmm. It is different, okay? Sounds kind of similar, but it's not similar. Okay, okay. so my goodness, time is running so fast today. So let's see. Uh, Andrea, Geraldine, please start the reading. The team is, uh, is talking about his weekend. Complete the sentence. Tenía que leer eso. Go ahead, go ahead. Complete the sentences. Then compare with a partner. Continue. Yeah, please go ahead. On Friday night, I wait, waited for a false uh, phone call. Perdón. For a phone call, but my girlfriend didn't call. Thank you. So on Friday night, I wait for a phone call, but my girlfriend didn't call. Okay, so that will be the simple past, right? Todo esto ya pasó, está en pasado, right? So let's see, Sandra, Amelia, continue with the reading, please. I just stayed home and I watched television. Perfect. So please, Alejandro, spell the simple past for the verb state. Spell it. Uh, excuse me, what? Uh, spell, uh, spell the verb state in past. So spell the verb. Uh, it is state. Yes. Spell it. Spell. 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 Hello, oh. Eletrias. Ah, I'm sorry. S T A I E D. There you go. Nice. Sandra Elizabeth spelled uh, the bird watched in the past, right? Y-A-T-C-H. Pass, in pass. Excuse me. Y-A-T-C-H-E. E-D, right? E-D at the end. It's a W, right? Y? Y is la Y, Sandra, okay? This is W. W A T C H E D, right? E D. Nice. Continue, Luis Alonso, with the conversation right there. I just stayed at home and watched television. On Saturday, I visited my friend Frank. We talked and listened to music. Perfect, nice. So on Saturday, I visited uh, my friend Frank. We talk and listened to music, okay? There you go. Uh, continue, Kathy, go ahead. Okay, teacher. Um, uh, in the evening, he invited some friends over and we cooked a great a great meal i okay. didn't Perfect. work okay thank, thank you. you nice in the evening he invited some friends over 
And we cook, right? In past, right? ED at the end. A great meal. Uh, Nadia and Solina, continue. I didn't work uh, very hard on Saturday, Sunday. Okay, so I didn't, right? I didn't work. Do we change the verb in this part? Yes or no? No. No, right? So no, the verb will be the same, work. Very hard on Sunday. So continue, let's see who. Uh, Francisco, go ahead. Okay, okay. Uh, después de Sunday, ¿verdad? I'm sorry. Um, um, next is Sunday. Uh, of course, yes, yeah. Okay. Very hard on Sunday. Okay. There you go. I during I during the study had I and just uh, welcome to dismay and in shop. I'm sorry, Francisco. Read it one more time. I okay. Hi. During the study. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. How do you say it? The student. One more. student. No, the auxiliary pronounced. Um, I can say how to pronounce it. Uh, study. No, it's um, lo está haciendo bien, el auxiliar. Um, didn't. 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 Okay. Didn't. didn't. It's didn't. not D. Okay. okay I didn't. didn't. I didn't. Study. Okay. Study. I didn't study. Study at all. At, oh, all. at, all. at, all. at all. I at just all. walked to the mall and shopped, right? So let's see, Miguel Angel, spell okay, the okay. bird shop in past, please. S H O P P E D. My goodness. So thank you, Nadia. So, Miguel Angel. Please spell the Excuse word. Excuse me. Excuse me. No problem. Thank you. Miguel Angel, please go ahead. Spell the word shop, but in past. Shop. Shop. Okay. S. I'm sorry. S. Miguel. Mm -hmm. sí. mm -hmm. P, 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 P. Okay, so how do you say H in English, Miguel Angel? Eight. H, okay, S, H, okay, H. Nice, so nice, so we got it right here. So that will be the conversation, right? So because of the time, we have to continue, okay? So we are going to skip this part, okay? So look right here, all these expressions that we have in these sentences, they are for the past, right? So yesterday I told you that the expressions that we are going to use in the simple past are expressions uh related with past like yesterday last night last week last month last year two hours ago right so todas las expresiones que vamos a usar tienen que ir en pasado también right so let's move on with this a simple past but now we have irregular verbs esto lo vimos ayer que hay verbs regular verbs and also irregular verbs so we are going to read this uh, sentences. Let's see, Ana Mercedes, read the first, uh, right here, the first two sentences, please. I did my homework. I did it to laundry. Okay, perfect. Look, I did my homework and I didn't do laundry, okay? So, veamos en, en negativos, right? So, en positivo, el auxiliar, Suficiente. I did my homework. Yo hice la tarea. Negativo, el auxiliar es didn't, right? Y ahí voy a poner el verbo a la par en la forma base, no cambia, right? I didn't do laundry. Nice. Amilcar, the second one, this one, please. You are on mute, Amilcar. 
Yo me estoy echando. You, you grab up, no? Uh, you didn't get up uh, at 10 o'clock. Okay, you got up, right? So, got up. Ahí está el verbo en pasado. Mire, el verbo es get, pasado es got, okay? You go out at noon. And then it says uh, negative, you didn't get up, okay? Ahí no cambia, right? Ahí no cambia el verbo. Mire, porque tenemos el auxiliar. So, let's see. Continue, Abigail Noemi. Which one? The third one right here. He went to the museum. And he didn't go to the library. Okay, perfect. He went to the museum. El verbo es go, presente. En pasado es went. He went to the museum or he didn't go to the library, okay? So, aquí estamos viendo ejemplos de verbos irregulares, okay? So, continue with the next one. Uh, Sandra, Mabel, please. We meet our classmates. We didn't meet our teacher. Perfect. So, uh, meet and met, right? We met our classmates and we didn't meet our teacher. Nice. Let's see. It is Rosario. Continue. You can home let it. You, you drain, uh, perdón, drain, uh, you drain home home early. Home early. One more time, mire Rosario, léalo nuevamente. The two? Yep. All of the sentences, the two sentences. Okay. You come home later. later. You, uh, you, I di didn't, you didn't home home early. Okay, nice. So, Por eso hay que estudiar los verbos, por la pronunciación, ¿ok? El verbo es come, ¿ok? En pasado es came, come, came, come. Yo me puedo los tres así porque así me los he aprendido, ¿ok? So, you came home late, you didn't come home early, ¿ok? Home, 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 home. So, ahí está, didn't, didn't, el auxiliar didn't. did, negativo, didn't or did not, right? So, ahí va a depender del auxiliar, eh, el, el, si lo usa con apostrophe or without, right? So, continue, let's see, vamos a ver quién no le hemos preguntado ahora. Reina Yamilet, no podemos ir sin preguntarle a Reina que lea. <risa> They have a picnic. They didn't have a party. Okay, perfect. Have, had, right? Suena parecido, pero no es igual, okay? Have, tener, had, tuve, okay? They had a picnic. They didn't have a party, okay? So, one more time. Uh, with the irregular birds, we have to memorize them, okay? We have to memorize them, okay? So, aquí, miren, esto lo creo que tiene un ejercicio similar a este en la plataforma donde está um, la, la, la tablita esta para completar esos verbos. So, uh, my goodness, we have seven minutes only and we have to complete this. Aquí quería que hiciéramos esta... Este parrafito, pero va a quedar de tarea, ok? So, usted me va a decir, uh, what, what was your weekend, ok? Lo vamos a dejar para el lunes, venga afilado para el lunes, porque el lunes usted me va a decir lo que hizo en el fin de semana, ok? So, aquí está un ejemplo, ok? Con eso vamos a empezar la, la clase, ya en el tiempo no nos da, ok? El lunes usted me va a decir lo que hizo el viernes, sábado y domingo. 
So we have a conversation right here that says, did you like it? Did you like it? Did you like it? This is a question, right? Te gustó, did you like it? And uh, the conversation is between uh, Laura and Erica. And it says, so uh, did you go anywhere last summer? Yes, I did, okay? Fíjense bien en las preguntas con el auxiliar did. Así como yo le he dicho, si yo le pregunto con el do, responda con el do. Si le pregunto con el verbo to be, responda con el verbo to be. Lo mismo acá, si le preguntan con el did, usted va a responder con el did. ¿Ok? La pregunta le, le dice ella, did you? ¿Ok? Y la respuesta, yes, I did. My sister and I went to Arizona. We saw the Grand Canyon. ¿Ok? So, en pasado, really, le dice, did you like it? Oh, yes, we love it. Lo amamos, right? We love it, en pasado. Did you go hiking there? No, we didn't. Actually, we rode horses. And we also went right water rafting on the Colorado River. Wow, did you have fun? Yes, we did. We had a great time. So, look at this, todos los verbos están en pasado y los que no están en pasado es porque tienen auxiliar y en cuando tienen auxiliar o pregunta, en la pregunta hay un auxiliar, el verbo no cambia, ok? So, por el tiempo que tenemos, quiero que lleguemos hasta acá, ya no vamos a terminar esto. Uh, Francisco, I don't know if you have a question, go ahead. Sí, yes, uh, my question is... Um... Eh, el significado de whiter water que es que cómo sería right water rafting ok uh -huh. so la el agua blanca o sea si usted lo traduce es esto la nieve o sea ellos se, no, se fueron al, al río ok al río colorado river este es un un río muy famoso en Estados Unidos, el río Colorado. So, pero ellos han ido a una parte del Grand Canyon, ¿ok? El Gran Cañón. Entonces ahí está congelado. Entonces ellos lo que han hecho es como ir en el río, pero el agua está como el ye, como hielo, right? Por eso dice, we also went to bright water rafting. ¿Qué es esto de rafting? Es un eso le iba a preguntar, chicha. Es un como deporte. Canotaje. ¿Cómo? ¿Cómo? Esquiar. No, es como de buscar canoa. Andar en canoa. Ah, en canoa. Ok, uh -huh. es, un, es, un, es un deporte. Ok, rafting. Obviamente nosotros no tenemos eso aquí, ¿verdad? Pero. Sí, eh, sí hay. Bueno, no sé, no sé ¿Tenemos? si hay. Pero... Bueno, solo eso quería saber. Gracias, teacher. Uh -huh. Ya, yeah, rafting es el, el, la imagen, justo la imagen que usted está viendo, esa acción, ese deporte. Eso es lo que ellos fueron a hacer. Ok, so ya no hay tiempo, creo que tengo dos minutos nada más. Acá está lo del simple pass, yes, no question. Y también hay WH question, que usted ya se puede las WH, pero también en pasado. Ok, so creo que eso ya no lo muestra acá, ya solo viene el, el reading que tenemos al final, pero vamos a revisar esto el lunes, ok. Vamos a revisar las yes, no questions uh, with the simple pass and uh, how to answer, ok. Bien fácil porque dijimos que el did es para todos. Si me están preguntando con el did, yo voy a contestar con el did. Si tengo auxiliar, el verbo no cambia. Si no tengo auxiliar, tengo que poner el verbo en pasado. Si es regular, tengo que hacerla convertirlo a pasado. Y si es irregular, me tengo que acordar cómo es el pasado de ese verbo. Porque tengo que estudiarlos. Ok, nadie dice en Apuzunga que puede hacer eso, Francisco. Así que... Vaya during the weekend so you can go and see if it is true, right? <laughs> nice. Y así el lunes nos cuenta. I went to a Puzunga and I did raft, rafting. <laughs> Según nice. San Google es en Metapan. Ya ve, ya, ya tiene un destino turístico para el weekend. No salgo, yo no me gusta. 
Ah, vaya, mejor, mejor, quedes estudiando los verbos. Es que soy pobre, soy pobre, imagínese que, que gasto para salir de la casa, imagínese llegar hasta allá. <risa> Ay, tan exagerado, nadie le cree, Francisco. No, si la tienda no es gratis, tiche. <risa> solo, solo vean la, la gran cia de gamer que tiene, dice que es pobre. Mira. Es de mi madre, por cierto, no, sí. le, no, no le he comprado yo. Sí, de gamer, de oficina, de esas de las, de las caras de las que usa el presidente. 150 va, me costó y bueno, a ella le costó porque a ella mucho le duele la espalda cuando viene a trabajar porque es masajista. Eh, al solo venir, viene a usar la máquina y se sienta aquí. No es mi culpa. Ya, ya ve que sí es pudiente usted. Bien, tengo que validar la asistencia, tengo que irme okay. a la otra clase rápidamente, pero todos están. Qué bueno, qué emoción. So, todos tienen la asistencia del día. So nice. We have full house today. So, we don't have class tomorrow. No me voy a venir a buscar mañana. No hay clase. Vaya, descanse, trabaje en la plataforma. Ya y el lunes, so we are going to continue the last week. Imagen como nada. Dios santo, ya van a ir para el intermedio ustedes, chicos. Nice. So, in one week. So, in one week, we are Pero over. Pero no disfruten ¿sí? porque después los va, los va a castigar la teacher si está ella. Mm, ya siento yo. <risa> yo no. Pero bueno, no va a poner. so please no Spanish, ok, van para intermedio, ya no pueden hablar español ustedes. ¿En serio? Ok, no, you have to talk just to me. Ok, ya. Yeah. I know, Miguel Angel, pre-intermedio, but it is intermedial, so uh, you don't have to st uh, talk in Spanish, ok, just full English. So, bye, me voy el otro grupo, me está esperando. Bye, teacher, so, good night. Bye, bye, bye. Bye, bye. bye. bye, bye. bye, bye. bye, bye.